In Jira, whenever a subtask moves to in progress, naturally you're going to want the parent to follow suit and be in progress as well. Now in Jira, out of the box for lots of reasons, it's not like that. But using automation for Jira, we can easily make this change. So we set up a simple rule starting with the issue transition trigger and we can specify the status to in progress. Now next, what we want to do is refine this rule and add a little bit of power. So we choose a condition. Lots of conditions to choose from, they all do different things, but the simplest and perhaps the most powerful one is the issue fields condition. So in here, we can just choose any field that we want to track. And in this case, it's gonna be the issue type. So we'll choose that and we'll say anytime the issue type is equal to subtask, so really the first two building blocks here are saying whenever a subtask transitions to in progress. Now, what we want to do is actually work on the parent of those subtasks. So we choose the branch rule slash related issues, which means we can go off and work on related issues. And in here, we'll choose parents. So now we're working on the parent of that trigger issue. And the last step and only the fourth building block is our action. So once again, tons of options, but in this case, it's a fairly simple rule. So all we're going to do is say, transition the issue. So you could select the status that you wanted to transition to, such as in progress, but we can go one better and actually just say copy from the trigger issue. So that means that regardless of what happens with those subtasks, if it gets moved back to to do, the parent will follow suit. It just keeps them permanently in sync. So we'll name our rule. Easy, easy, turn it on, wait for it to load, and now let's go in and test it in the real world in Jira. So I've set up a subtask and a parent there, and I'm just gonna move the subtask over to in progress, and we'll just give Claire a little second to wait and wake up, and all we have to do is refresh the page and you'll see the rule in action. So we'll refresh the page now, and you can see that the parent has followed the child wherever it goes, just like a happy family. We can go one better. I mean, obviously automation rules are fantastic, but you always want to see what's happened. So we can go back into our audit log and see the breadcrumbs. So there we go. We can see that it's a project specific rule. If we show the details, we can see the issues that passed and that it's moved to in progress. And that's it, you're done.